Wizard101 has a 13 year old story, so it's about time we go back to the beginning and remember how far we've come. Welcome to the story so far. Caramel is the first world of Arc 4. We start out by getting introduced to Malworth Von Trapp, a mole from the world of Caramel. He is attending a Cabal conference and I only suspects him to be working for the Cabal to destroy the Arcanum. We venture into Caramel and meet Nana, the face of Nana's old fashioned Caramel Delights, a snack producing company. We head to the Von Trapp estate to meet with the Cabal members and a quirky character named the Old One, who is the leader of the Cabal. During his speech the Old One is sucked into a hole beneath the stage. The Cabalists are not happy with us being there and blame us for the mysterious disappearance. We escape the estate through the Rock Candy Mountains. In the mountains, we notice sour gummies attacking people, which is very out of character. We report this to the Burgomaster, and we are directed to speak with Nana. We learn that Nana is not one person, but an ever-growing number of people. We speak to Grand Nana, and she tells us that the cause is witches, who have started popping up all over the world. We head to Sweetsburg to dispel the witches. Once we enter, we see a line of gnome workers striking against unfair working conditions. We head into the factory and see sour gummies taking over. We defeat some of the witches and Quake Charmer, who is a cabalist who is chasing us after the mysterious disappearance of the old one. We eventually meet Greta. She says she's investigating the sour gummies and would like us to help her. We find another hole in the floor of the factory and Greta suggests Caramel might be rotting from the inside out. Greta takes us to Nibelheim through an old access tunnel to obtain more gummy samples. In Nibelheim, we learn Nana is creating a toxic treacle factory, which uses the runoff of other factories around the world to make candy. We stop the treacle plant and obtain some more samples from the chocolate mines. We head deeper into Caramel to Gutenstad, a grey factory town where no outsiders go. We learn the devastating effect Nana's happiness initiative is having on the world and for her workers. We fight our way through the soulless gnomes in search of the copycat, a cabalist who is again looking for us. We defeat her and seek out the witches in the town. We capture them for the sheriff, only to break them out after we learn that the witches are fighting for better working conditions for the people of Caramel. One of Nana's Nana assassins comes and intercepts us and blames us for the lack of productivity in the city. We fight the assassin and continue on our quest to the witch HQ. In the licorice forest, we find yet another hole. We meet with the witches and head to Sugar Plum Sherry's old fashioned gummy companion stall to get samples of her gummies to compare with Nana's. We learn they are different and there is a strange chemical produced by the gobblers put in to make them turn sour. In the candy corn farm, we break out the entrapped gobblers and send them on their way back to Gobleton. To get to Gobleton, we first need to help Rosina, the exercise witch. Rosina is just an Alfoy, which is a version of gobblers that have not yet been consumed by greed and temptation to eat everything they see. She has been captured by Judge Veg, the final cabalist who is trying to hunt us down. Once the judge is sentenced, we swim to Gobleton. Gobleton is a gluttonous place. King Gobsmack sends gobblers off to farms in return for Nana's constant supply of food. We learn the way to counteract the sourness is by gobbler sweat, which allows them to produce splendorphins, which is a chemical made from exercise. We set up a massive Splendorphin factory on the island and get all of the gobblers to start working again. Whilst we were sorting out the gobblers, the witches came up with a plan to overthrow Nana. We first had to stop the Jellymancer who was in charge of Nana's gummy army. We then raid Nana's education and broadcasting block, tricking her into saying she doesn't care about her workers and broadcasting it to the entire world. This then leads us to the Counting Crypt, the main source of Nana's power. It is a building where unfortunate workers are sent to count to keep track of Nana's various metrics that she uses to track her success. We storm Grand Nana's office only for her to be sucked into another hole. We enter the hole and find ourselves on the other side. More specifically, the Aberrant Paradox. The negative space version of the Divine Paradox. We talk to Bartleby and he is unable to tell us the cause of these aberrations. All he can see is nothing.